Okay, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, Ender767, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I'm gonna get started back into Tomb Raider, the original one. Uh, unfortunately, Twitch doesn't have an option for it, so I always gotta go for the retro category. Uh, but yeah, we started this, mm, I wanna say like last week or maybe like a week and a half ago. We're sort of getting into it, but this is a long damn game, so still got a ways to go. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know what this place is. I just know that we're being chased around by a Frenchman. And that in and of itself is worrisome. But that's okay. He's a bit of a pain in the ass, though. I don't even know what his name is. Jacques or something like that? He was mentioned sort of very briefly by uh, Larson. And he was saying... Well, Larson was saying that, that Natla had sent him to go get the, the ski on. We haven't even shared a word with him. He just pops around a corner and just starts shooting at us. It's a pain in the ass, but I'm sure we're not done with him. All right. Current position is good. Also, I'm somewhat relieved because I'm working with these original memory cards for the PlayStation, and uh, it's... It's a little worrisome because one of them just died on me. The casing just cracked in half and I can't even like, I can't fix it. So I don't, I don't even know how to get it working again. I guess it just needs to be in the right position. I had a similar situation with one of the PS2 memory cards, but uh, that one is a little finicky too. So now let's try to get our controls right again. Uh, I was just playing, oh, what's it? Indiana Jones and... Uh, I don't want to have <laughs> everything screwed up on me. Let's see. I don't even know if this is the right way to go. This doesn't look right. All right. So. Let's see. We just got in here, I think. Oh, yeah, there's a save crystal up there, too. Yeah, this wasn't even that. We didn't even take that many steps into this place. I think the entrance is over there. We ended on the Midas thing. That's what it was. Uh, where we had to turn the bars of iron into gold. And then that granted us access in here. So we just kind of started into this place. I think I just stopped at the nearest save point. That's kind of what the issue was. Wait, I think I needed to get on that. Whoops. Female indie, yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, that's why we uh That's why we were doing Indiana Jones. Just to compare and contrast a little. Yeah, it's pretty cool so far. I've been enjoying the game. Really starting to dig the series because I've been like testing all the other games and stuff and it's got me itching to play more of them so hopefully I won't ah see goddamn Frenchman <laughs> we keep rolling him back of him he won't be able to hit us everybody's got stiff controls in this game even the enemies Oh, well. But anyway, uh, I still need to test out Last Revelation. That's the one that was giving me trouble before. I don't think any of these games are actually playable on the PS3, which is a damn shame. Uh, takes an awful amount of bullets to still be standing. I know. He's a pain. And then he still comes back. That's probably not the only time we're going to be seeing him. Not in this level, anyway. He's been pestering us for, like, the last three levels. So... It's got to come to a conclusion at some point, I would assume, but just when that's going to be, I've got no idea. <clears throat> but anyway, every time I test a game on the PS3, uh, as far as Tomb Raider games are concerned, I always run into an issue. And then I think, well, maybe the disc's dirty or something like that. I go take it to be resurfaced at the local game shop and then uh, to give it another test, and then I'm still running into the same issue. Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 1 doesn't even boot up. It's It stops at the selection screen where you select uh, the between the ninja 
uh, <laughs> demo, the Tomb Raider 2 demo and the Tomb Raider 1 game. So, that one's a shame. Tomb Raider 2 crashes on the second level in Venice when I try to open up the menu. Uh, Tomb Raider 3 seemed to be okay, but I, I don't know. I didn't test it that long. Tomb Raider 4 seems to constantly be uh, skipping around at a cutscene, one of the FMV sequences. So, I thought that might just be because the disc was damaged, but from the look, I don't know. I cleaned it up, and it looks pretty damn good. But it's still still giving me an issue at the exact same spot, so I'm wondering if it's not related to just the PS3 emulator unable to actually play these games. So in any case, we'll be using the PS2 for a bit longer, I'm sure. Not that I mind too much, it's just more crap that I gotta haul out. Usually I keep these things stowed away on the shelf, but... <laughs> it's like if I'm streaming it, I, just, I don't even put it anywhere important. I just leave it on the floor. It's not a good look, but fortunately not many people come in here, so. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. I think we're about coming up to... Actually, have I even played this before? I don't know. I remember the Midas thing, but I, I might remember be remembering the Midas thing from the anniversary edition of the game. I'm not actually too sure. It's like when I first saw the hand, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember what we need to do with that. But that could have just been because of the anniversary edition. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird problem. It's a bit of a pain. I've never really had a problem playing a physical PlayStation 1 disc on the PS3. Never given me an issue before. Um, PS3, when you play discs on it, runs it through emulation. Well, okay, I've had one problem. Uh, it was, but it was kind of funny and it was weird. But it was at the very end of Silent Hill, the final boss, when you shoot it just enough times, it creates this ear-piercing screech. Uh, and at the time we were wondering, is that normal? Should it be doing that? Uh, the answer was no. Uh, <laughs> it was a problem with the emulator. However, I was still able to uh, finish the game, so... Wait a second, the water wasn't this high before. I guess it must have something to do with the switch. But yeah, anyway, it didn't, prog it didn't block my progress from the game, so... Slightly disappointed when it comes to the Tomb Raider. I guess just maybe the engine or something about the discs. I don't know. But it saddens me. It's much easier to play them off of the PS3, though. Yeah, it was it was weird. <laughs> it was a weird issue. But Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. What what I'm worried about, though, and the reason why I've been testing them more and more thoroughly is because I just don't want to be stuck playing these games. Like, well, I shouldn't say it like that, but I, I don't want to be, I don't want to get stuck playing these games, rather. I don't want to start the game up, play for a few hours, then come to a point where the emulator doesn't want to work with it. And then, you know, I got to restart. Uh, I know that there are means to transfer the digital saves on the PS3 to actual memory cards, but I do not have that device. And one of my friends does. He offered to give it to me once, but then he found that he needed it. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, don't worry about it. Um, I think there's like cheap Chinese knockoff products that essentially do the same thing, but I haven't really taken a look at it. And still, it's like 20 bucks. I'd rather not spend twenty dollars, but that's just me. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> I want to get up there though. There's like crocodiles in the water. Let's see what do we got going on. Nothing's following me. All right. Whoops. That, wait, wait a second. Whoa. There we go. escape problem. <laughs> Jeez. 
getting a little close there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Apes a poppin'. My favorite movie. Okay. I see what we're doing. Oh, God damn it. He's back. Oh, no. That's not good. We're both relatively indestructible, so, you know, there is that aspect to it, but, wait, reposition. The most awkward gun battle ever conceived. Go away! They ain't leaving. Normally, if you shoot him enough, he starts to run. Wait, whoa! <laughs> we got a Houdini here. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? Huh. Well, there you go. I'm betting some dickhead it's from software saw this and was so inspired by <laughs> Dark Souls out of the combat. Maybe. <laughs> You've been invaded by a, a French spirit. I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> it was really weird. But apparently he can vanish into thin air. And he just phased through tons of stone, exactly. Typical Frenchy. <laughs> All Frenchmen can do that, right? It's in their blood to vanish. And similarities are there. He does pop up at the most inopportune of times. Wondering though, in those Kingsfield games, do those ever have any sort of invasion aspect to them? I never finished them all the way through, despite owning the first one. I've also got that Shadow Tower, which um, looked interesting. It was like a more refined version of those, but I haven't completely played it. But those, in a sense, were kind of predecessors to the Souls series. Mm, okay. What? Oh, wait, let me just save first thing. Yeah, I want that. I hear something going on, though. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. I see it. Okay. I think that's a crocodile. Okay, I just don't want to end up in a position where I have to be on the ground to fight it. There we go. I could get out the shotgun, but I'd rather save that ammunition if at all possible. Ah, there it goes. Dang, it's so tough. Alright. Oh, oh, there's another one. <laughs> that wasn't there before. Oh, I see. Okay, wait. They've got some kind of... There it goes. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, where'd that one come from? Okay, uh, yeah, the Frenchman isn't the only one that can just, like, disappear and reappear at will. Anybody else? This place is awful. <laughs> there's something's going on. If it's not a magic dungeon, then there's something. 
Oh, it's just a rat. <laughs> yeah, they kind of flip flop around when they die. Damn, I wasted a whole slug on that. So I keep mixing up the select and the start button. Uh, there we go. I don't cry for them. There's more where that came from. <laughs> We've seen some in the main area. I'm sure they'll be back. Let's see. That. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That one good. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. Let's try it from here. There you go. Something about the way Tomb Raider moves. I mean, I know we've compared it to the original Prince of Persia and everything, but it's just after playing the Indiana Jones game. Oops. Oh, hey, that worked. <laughs> as rigid as the controls are in this game, there, there's, it, it's so finely tuned for the maps that it just feels easier to navigate. And I don't think that precision is there in the uh, indie game. I'm not saying the indie game was bad. I'm just saying it's it it feels so much more different playing this game than that game. Despite the fact that they're like one is a clone of the other. Let's see. Oh. Uh -oh. Why is that rat bleeding from the eye? I guess I should go for a long jump if I try to uh, regular jump it. I think I'm just going to hit my head on the top and then bounce back off. Ooh. That's a wacky place. Ain't no doubt about that. Vampire. <laughs> I hope not. Bad enough as is. It's like they're almost they're the size of half of a fully grown human. What is this? I don't think I could get out anywhere. Mm, okay, we got a door. <laughs> Somebody slipped into the walls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Texture's getting a little funky. So I'm gonna check on the OBS real quick. Man, this game is... I think I brightened it a little. Actually, no, that's probably more accurate. Let me see what it looks like on stream. Eh, it looks normal on stream. Okay. I was worried that it was too bright. It's a little bright on my end, but that's just me. Okay. Let's get this. We'll go ahead and save and... I don't really know what else we're supposed to do here. I see that there's a there's the door underwater. But is there a switch? Oh there it is. Okay. Uh no. Dive please, thank you. Wait a second, I saw something moving down there. Oh, wait here. Okay. Hold up, hold that thought. Ooh, oh, oh, God. There we go. No?
I think this is the one I was trying to shoot at earlier. Ah, uh, see there? It only took two shots. Yeah, it must have been. I'm surprised I keep the damage, actually. Okay. What did I even get? Silver key, and we still got the rusty key. What do you take? back. Still just on the hunt for some keys, looks like. Oh, okay. I was about to go looking for a switch. So hold up a second. We got a silver key, which I don't know that I've seen a door to. Let's take a moment that. Oops, skipped over it. And a gold key. Huh. I don't... Mm. I don't think there was anything back in any of the areas that I've already been to. There is that section. Oh god. Wait, no, get up. Get up! Still dealing with the crocodiles. <laughs> okay, wait a sec. That's gotta be the silver key. A silver key, or do we use a gold key? Usually, the lock represents what type of no. key you want to use. Oh, okay. She's being Miss Bossy. Okay, so we need to find another silver key. No. Well, huh. I don't know where to go. Oh look, who's this? Did we check this out before? I don't think so. Yeah, always locks, always keys. Can't have a Tomb Raider game without something like that. I think that was just a secret. Check this out again. I feel like we didn't investigate it thoroughly enough. Who's Sin? Cynical? Uh, old friend of mine. He's kind of hopped off the grid as far as I know. I haven't spoken to him in a while. <laughs> If, if you're talking about Cynical C, then yeah. We used to do... I mean, we kind of bounced ideas off each other. We did a couple of projects. We did a podcast together for a few episodes. Um, sometimes we do some, like, gameplay sessions. That kind of stuff. Uh, we did... We did a couple of videos. We were going to... We were testing out some ideas, venturing into some, like... Uh, what do they call them? The video essays. But... That was years ago, and didn't really follow through with it. It was nice at the time, but eh, it's, it was cynical. He's he's always hopping around with his ideas. He's always got a plan for something, but then he kind of gets burnt out on it relatively quickly. So it's kind of just a matter of trying to stick with one thing and getting it done right. But yeah, like I said, it's 
he's been a little while. I, I think he's, uh, I think he got like really burnt out on having an online presence at all. So it'll happen to anyone though. He had, oh boy, he was getting up there to like 50k subscribers on YouTube and then. I think his big thing, like his big ticket item was uh, the Minecraft videos that he did. And then he just didn't want to play that anymore. And people kept pestering him about it. And then I think <laughs> that kind of wore on him for a little bit, as it would anyone. Because he is somebody that likes variety. Yeah, I mean, he was doing pretty good, but again, it's just a matter of him getting burnt out on stuff, and then I think it just kind of wore on him all together, and he's like, you know what? I don't think I need this. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I got a fresh start doing something else. Okay, so what we were looking at, I wonder if we need to either drop or raise the water level. I don't think I saw anything additional, but I do remember that there was a room back here that I did not have access to. And it was mostly because of the water level. I might, well, actually, you know what? I was gonna say, obviously I'd be able to reach up some of those platforms if the water was higher, but if it was lower, lower I might be able to do it too just because of the jumps let's take a look at that again okay yeah see those yeah see those steps and then I'd be able to jump up there but if I'm doing it just from the base water level and not having the ability to jump at all yeah that's not gonna work Okay, so I think what we need to do is I need to go back to that first area where that one lever was that raised the water level. I need to go back in there and lower it and then try to find my way through here again. Okay, I'm gonna use that save crystal though. I think that's probably what it's been saved for in this particular instance. Also, we're getting a little laggy here. Move my mic stand a bit. Okay. Less the Frenchman come back. He's not here. Let's see Houdini'd out of here. We haven't seen him since. All right, let's take a look and make sure that did what I wanted it to. Okay, the water level's dropped. That should be enough, I would think, anyway. Where can I drop where I won't die? There we go. Okay. So hopefully this should take me back. Or is... No, that's not the room. Oh, shoot. Well, damn. <laughs> well, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. There, There's another way. That might take some doing, though. Ooh. Thinking about it with the water level down, this makes it incredibly more difficult. Um... Okay, so I need to go I need to go up there. Oh boy. Ooh. 
I'll check his channel later. It's kind of dead, but <laughs> at least the content is still there. I think he was trying to transition it into like an overall like gameplay type of channel or something like that, but um, he's got a lot of Minecraft videos that makes up the majority of his content. He's got some videos left over from when he used to do like pro, I don't know what the hell it was, <laughs> pro Black Ops, pro Call of Duty gaming, something like that. Uh, and then at the very end there, he had he had a little bit more fun with testing out like different games. So yeah, I mean it's interesting and still there to be enjoyed. Why is that ledge there? Do they really want me to like? Huh. <laughs> And you could just go on top of it. I don't see why you'd want to use that. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little close. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Hold up here. Did that happen with all of them? Look at that crocodile. It's hovering. <laughs> I killed it in the water. But uh, the water's been lowered now. I think it could drop. Be like a Looney Tunes cartoon. He just needs to realize first that he's in the air. And we'll be like, whoa, whoa, fall down. Oh, shit. Ah! He's too enamored by the floating crocodile. God damn it. All right, it's not it's not going to be too bad to get back there. Still hear something skittering around. I don't know what that is. I think even the um Speaking of his old channel, our old, like, project that's got the one video is still up there. Cosmoneer, that's what it was. I was trying to think, what the hell was the name of that channel? We did one video on Dragon Ball. I had done recordings for a video on the Beatles, and I'd done a recording for a video on Sergio Leone, the Spaghetti Western director, but... Those never made it to the video process, unfortunately. I've half thought about just doing the videos on my own and releasing those. That's kind of like this unfinished project to deal. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> having issues with the uh, <laughs> finite controls here. But, I mean, it's a damn shame because we put a lot of work into those. I really should just put them somewhere. But I kind of forgot about them after a while. They were fun, though. I mean, it's, it's like... At the recording process, up to that point, was like the meat of the project. The video was just kind of secondary. I mean, you could do kind of like a shitty job with the video, and it's still probably... I mean, you still got the information there. But it's like... Um, we did the research on it, so that took a good chunk of time. He would usually write up like bullet points or first draft, and then I would flesh it out into something bigger <laughs> or more detailed. And one, just because I was a little bit better with the writing, but two, because, um, I was the one that was going to be doing the reading for him, so... It's like, it would have been better if it was written in my words anyway. So that's kind of how it worked out. But I mean, you know, that was like a couple weeks worth of work. We had gotten those finished up and then it's just like, you want to 
follow up on that? No? All right. <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes, though, unfortunately. But I don't know. Maybe I could do it one of these days. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was a little worried. I wouldn't actually be able to make it. Okay. So if we go through here again, we should end up in that same room. It'd be a little bit more risky just because of the fact that there isn't the water there to buffer some of the falls, but eh, it should be fine. I kind of want to drop down and go get those bullets for guns that I don't even have yet, but it just means I'd have to reclimb this thing all over again. Which is a pain. Okay, so... I just want to be careful doing this, because if I die, we'll have to do it all over again from the point where we had to flip the switch. Little disappointed that the save crystal didn't come back. I was kind of hoping that'd be the case. time I just dropped and I was able to it is pretty long it should there we go see if it was just one brick that would have been a problem but two we're good Okay. Whew. That almost could have ended in disaster. All right, I think. So yeah, this part was covered in water last time. Still hearing something weird. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the rats. There we go. Ah, and here we are. What a damn shame you couldn't just <laughs> get up from the water there. Obviously by design, but still. Didn't make it any less of a pain to get through here. Okay, so... Let's see... I'm just hopping on that one. I was going to say, that's a bit of a long drop, but... Okay, we should be fine. Yeah, no worries, Ender. Well, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around next time. So, you take care. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got another switch here. Don't know what it does. Because I don't think I've seen... Well, oh, wait a sec. Oh, look at that. Ooh. 
We'll see you later. I'll take care. Okay, so I didn't even notice that that was... Did I see that door last time? I don't remember, <laughs> but... I thought that was the one that we had already gotten the other key from, but I guess there's a similar one to that. Now we just gotta work on getting our way back down there. Which I think will be considerably easier compared to getting up here. There we go. Just gotta watch out for the rats. Okay, so that's our second silver key. Which means we can get through that door. Uh, I don't know. Whoa, oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. Son of a bitch. It's hard to get away from this guy. I'm not even going to mess with him. I just need to go back to the doors. <sighs> I just need to find the old mech. <laughs> Unlock the shrine of the silver monkey. We'll get there eventually. It's all been leading up to it. This game was actually released as a Nickelodeon tie-in. I think I need to raise the water for this next part. I don't think it's possible to get up there without it, so. than that. Okay. So, alright, cool. I'd forgotten. I thought maybe we needed to jump on something, but now we just do that. Has no save crystals reappeared, has it? I mean, we've done a lot. So I hope there's not anything super strenuous past here, but there probably is going to be. I do not trust it. <laughs> First things first, since we've done all that, come all this way, not seen a save crystal since. Actually, look, I need to go up there because that's where we use the golden key, more than likely. Ooh, son of a bitch. Wrong menu. Okay, that's not that far. Oh, God! <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Thank God we had the save crystal, like, before opening the door. Not that I died, but it would make me all the more nervous. 
might have resulted in my death. Ah, uh, look at that. I think this one's fine. Yep, that's cracked. Oh shit, that one is too. <laughs> God damn it. What's in there? Nothing? Okay. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I think these big platforms are fine. Yeah, I don't really like this. Oh, look, I think there's spikes under here. Let's see. Oh, I saw some spikes peeking through one of these. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, it's that one. Okay, it's just weird uh, classic P PS1 texture issues. But it's kind of funny. Some of them got spikes, and some of them don't seem to have anything. I don't know if that means that they're still deadly or what. Let's see, what is this? Oh. Wait, that looked pretty damn far. Um, okay, there's water down there. That's like a point of no return, though. We still have, I don't know, something going on here. Like, what is that door? And the switch. Oh. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, there's three of them. Jesus. Classic video game animal weakness. If you hop up on top of something, they can't reach you. Ever. Same goes for, like, melee people. If they got a gun, then at least they got a chance. But, like, if they're just messing around with swords or clubs or something, they ain't gonna do nothing. Was that up there? Oh, no. Okay. Hold up. That door is closed. I don't know if this is extra or what. Might need something up here, though. But from the looks of it, I need to move this block into that room. It's going to take a while. I mean, it's a miracle she can move this massive, solid stone block in the first place, so I guess you know, should be happy enough with that, but still. Can expect quick results here. I think that might be good enough. <laughs> Big push, she'll throw her back out. Yeah, yeah. 
Could see it happening. Tell me that's it. Oh, okay. A little bit of ammunition. Again, for a gun I don't have. Kind of a lot of work for that, all that though. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, just purely extra. There isn't even, like... I mean, I think I see where we need to go with that... Uh, that big drop into the water. damn far. <laughs> it's a good scream. <laughs> I'm disappointed that I didn't have her screaming. Sound like I was are there headphones on right? Yeah they are, okay. Sounded like it was coming from behind me. Oh shit, oh, that's a big one just to start off with. here. Don't need to be doing no hops. Whoa, jeez. Need to hop over that way, but I don't know if it'll be doable from this one. Risky from here. Okay, cool. Water. Oh, yeah, that's water. Yeah. 
Oh, I see. Okay. The brick must be porous. Maybe it's made out of whatever the ones she's able to move with are. No, not that. There you go. <laughs> it just keeps going up. Nothing but platforms. Oh, wait, okay. I think we need to jump across. That's like, a, no, can't get on that. That's a little too high. There we go. zooms in too close, the camera just can't handle it. it freaks out a little. Okay, I think I want to do that. Save Crystal. It's been a little while. Well, actually, we haven't saved since we entered this level. Touch it. Okay, so... Huh. <laughs> Maybe I've been, I don't want to stand too close to that. I feel like I should measure this out a little. Yeah, um, that didn't quite work. I'm just going to reload that. Probably quicker than working our way back up there anyway. I don't want to stand at the edge because I get the feeling like I'll still get damaged. But maybe not. Let's see. Oh, oh okay. I was going to say, nah, that's fine. Oh, that French bastard. Look, he's back. <laughs> didn't even take a shot at me. That would have been the perfect opportunity, though. Oh, wait, he's not here? Is he here? No, he's not here. It's Crocodile down there.
does that do? Um, <laughs> cool shot of the backpack. There we go. Oh wait, there's water down there. Uh, not that enticing when there's still crocodiles. I don't know about all that. Uh, Jesse Sims, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Don't think I'm able to shoot it from here. It might. I might need to go down there, but the only thing is, is that I don't know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Perfect spot. <laughs> Don't stack them like that too much. Right where you need them. Get the, get the shotgun shells. Come on. There you go. So this is just extras. else? That's weird. Right. Huh, something's going on with that. <laughs> Not only are the textures freaking out over it, but it also seems to be a slightly lighter color than the rest of the wall. as an enemy yet. It was just kind of standing there. She couldn't even shoot it. Okay, so save crystal. Ooh! Damn, pal. Monkey's somewhere. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, every time it pops out, it's making a monkey sound, so I don't know if that's just a game glitch or what, but. Finally did that sound. the drop down there seems hesitant to come back out <sighs> what is that is that a switch oh, yeah, it is there's no like uh, bar though well there I mean there is a bar but there's no like I don't know hole where it slides down Something else entirely. Okay, we're looking for a key. Might as well save there. I don't think I'll be able to make this jump without moving that out of the way. You know what? Maybe I should just pull the shotgun out. Ooh, okay. Standard jump. <laughs> okay. 
Couldn't tell the camera was acting a little weird. Shoot. Okay, I need to, need to jump up there. Here's that little ledge. I think it's just high enough where if you attempted to jump that from the doorway, probably would have died. Can I jump this? Better go for a long jump. All right, what's in here? back up there. Fortunately, these don't seem to be timed and there's no fire coming out of them, so I'm all about that. More fire? No. No, I don't think we do. I'm fine with the amount of fire that we've experienced so far. Stupid. Come on. I, got, I see the... Alright, there's like these tiles with Sanskrit or something on them. So I guess we just keep pushing this over them. Probably open up a few more doors. Ooh, my mic stand again. It's kind of bugging me in the position that it is. In case another monkey comes out, oh, it's that one. Oh, the doors stay open. There's that at least. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh god, how do we want to do this? Can I long jump this? Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Where was the last save? Oh, not that. Uh, I hate how they have restart level. It really should just be load game. All right. I don't think the save file was that far back. Let's take a look. Oh, I hate this before. Oh, this still kind of sucks. Oh, hey, restart level just takes you to the last save. Oh, God damn it! I've already forgotten what we've done here. The pain in the ass about the boulder room, I wouldn't even bother doing it if it wasn't necessary, but it seems like it's going to be, because I'm pretty sure there was a key up there. There was a health kit, a small health pack that was on the on the floor. That's like the trap. That's like, ooh, let me pick this up, and then boulders come and run you over. But I don't know. I could either hop in there and then do a backwards jump out. That might work. Or I could run in there and then hop forward. But then if I can't clear it, then I'm just going to get run over. I was trying to get her to just hop up onto the ledge, but that didn't seem to work. Ultimately not too far back, but I still don't want to have to do that again. Oh, I didn't even notice that. In the distance, it looks like there's a locked door that's got two keyholes on either side. So there's probably going to be two keys hidden away in here somewhere. And uh, probably two monkeys hidden away elsewhere in the other two rooms. She still gets quite a bit of clearance with the backward somersault. So maybe hopping in and then doing that will work. I don't know. Let's get it over with. God, it worked. <laughs> Stomach is churning at the thought of it not being able to work. Should I even look up here? Something else going to fall on me if I do. All right. Mm, I don't think there's anything up there. So I'm not even going to chance fate and bother with it.
Ooh, the rat room. So that just three. Oh, I still hear one more. Okay. Now what's going to kill me in here? Aside from the rats. Okay. I guess that was just an extra room. That opened up two doors. Okay, what do we got? It's just some shotgun shells. mistake. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the warning. Hate those things. Okay, well here's our second key. Provided I don't die making my way out of here, <laughs> I should be able to hit up that save crystal after this. Where's that light coming from? <sighs> don't like it. Don't like it. So we have the save. going on here. Hmm. 
just checking for secrets or anything they could pick up, but I don't think we got anything yet. Save crystal over there. Still seems to be something underwater, I'd assume. There was that other platform that was a little bit further out. Let's see, wow, look at this natural cave formation under here. So many ramps. Okay, where was that platform? This looks like it's going to be a pain. Ooh. Okay. Switch, huh? I have not seen that, but all right. Well, there's definitely water here. this entrance to a temple or something, but oh, wait, 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 wait. Looks like we got something here. There it is. Two save crystals in pretty close succession with each other, but obviously you're gonna take this one. It's a little out of the way. Kind of remember this in the anniversary edition. Not from just like looking at it, but like specifically the skinless deal where it's. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> where it's the. Just the raw muscle showing. Oh, my God. to be avoiding most of his moves by doing this. <laughs>
Oh, jeez. That's, that's a big boom. I didn't even drop anything. What an asshole. Okay, this is it. Big moment. A little late for the prize giving, no? Ah. Oh. Oh. Taking part, which counts? Finally, he talks. All right. If he's talking, that means it's the final showdown. Come here, you French bastard. Ah. Can't stand up to an old shotgun, can you? Oh, yeah, he's, he's legitimately dead. Okay. At least with Larson, he was still kind of crawling. Laura, you just killed somebody. For shame. Can I take his guns? Mills guns. Does he have something? I'm, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, and I did take his gun. I was like, I see something that looks like a key, but I couldn't pick it up. Golden key, eh? Oh, hey, we got the magnums. Nice. Limited ammunition, but it should be a damage increase, I would expect. What the hell is this? Oh, wait, I see a keyhole up there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I misjudged some of these jumps. I must think I could do a long jump when it's just straight jumping. This <laughs> is like the most stereotypical Frenchman <laughs> voice they could give him. Hey, little lady. Oh, wee, wee, wee. Well, poor Jacques. I don't even know his name. I think he comes back in Chronicle. I seem to remember him and Larson in the first level. So we'll see a little more of him. But he's not quite so <laughs> like stereotypical. Ooh, whoops. I meant to hang on to that. Level end or continue still, really? Oh no, cutscene, wow. Here lies Tohokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly to Hoken. Oh, that's it. Just a couple secrets. This game has a weird offset. I think that might be the game option. I'm just looking at it now. But I'll need to fix that. Ooh. That was interesting. So 
Do we actually get a bike riding segment? I know that in some of the later, like original Tomb Raider games, <clears throat> there are like vehicle segments. <laughs> they don't ever operate none too well, though, unfortunately. There you go. That's much better. It was offset by like one. I might have actually done that on stream by accident. Oh, well. Well, now it's fixed. Oh, I need to adjust the volume again, too. I was jumping in there because it seemed like it was a little low on the stream. But I don't want it blaring because the levels get louder than the cinematics. Okay. So is this, this is a new level? Or are we still... I don't even know where the hell the last level was. Oh, uh, we should have just kept going that way. If I should have, well, okay. I'm gonna pull it out a couple. It seems like it, when they give you an option, when there's like a brick stowed away somewhere in a passage like that. Oh wait, this one's movable too. Okay, so I was doing the right thing. A lot of times it's better to push it though than it is to pull it. So I see. just in case there's something in the hallway. It's, oh yeah, look at that. That's a magnum ammo. Small health kit. And yeah, that's not movable, okay. I guess we're in Egypt now, though. I don't recall there being hieroglyphics in the other levels. Ah, well, maybe there was, I don't know. Oh, look at that, there's some kind of sphinx. Ooh! Do that. <sighs> Terrible. <laughs> Jittering around a little bit. like that. What is that? Is that a mummy? Oh, you know what? In the very first level, there was a the tomb when we got the first piece of the ski on. Uh, 
There was two mummies, but not, neither one of them moved. But you could still shoot them. Okay. <laughs> God, they just explode into little bits. I don't remember that happening with the last one. It might have, though. Okay, I got a door. I got this. That's slideable, so I can't do that. Got a sphinx with a brick that I can move. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh, that's a door. Okay. I thought that was a lever. Okay, so that's just... I need to come back to that. Lots of setup here, but... I need the first part where I can progress. <laughs> we have some kind of totem pole with indentations on it. It's like the central hub where everything happens. Okay. I want to see if I can get on top of the Sphinx, but if not, then there might be something in that little pool of water. I feel like I could get on it. Shoot. I just need, I need to push it back into place, unfortunately, in order to do so. There you go. Okay. She doesn't want to grab onto the side ledges. Oh, look at that. Save crystal back here. Oh, okay. I got a key. Oh, have I seen that there were climbable ledges on the Sphinx in the first place? I would have gone up here first. Hit it. Opportunity to check down here. Some magnum ammo. That seems to be it. Oh. <sighs> 
Okay, some more mummies and or panthers come out. Look at that. Little health kit. It's almost Valley of the Kings esque. And I don't even remember there being a Egypt section. I loved Last Revelations um, because that one I think primarily took place in Egypt, and I've always been a sucker for like ancient Egyptian stuff. But yeah, I don't even remember there being an Egypt level in here or even in the anniversary edition. I don't think. Like, I gotta remember all this stuff with like the mummies and whatnot. So kind of interesting. Unfortunately, the the level design in the original Tomb Raider is a little bit simplistic and somewhat oh God, crude. I feel like once we move on, I mean, I guess by two, but two felt completely different because a lot of it was primarily in urban locations from what I recall. Um, so like you weren't in like tombs, but you were like in Venice and you were in uh, like an oil rig or something. I just remember those levels taking a while. Some kind of offshore plant. But anyway. So that one just felt unique, but it was still kind of a little rough, but I, I feel like it definitely had its own defined character. But then definitely by three, Last Revelations, Chronicles, obviously, it's kind of like an anthology type th uh, thing, but they all have a very distinct feel about them. I guess, I mean, I you know, I guess, what the hell is that? What is that? I guess one does too, but it's so much more on the simplistic side that I feel like they end up getting, oh, that's what that was, more complex as we go along, despite the fact that they all had relatively close release dates. So I came out on the top of that, right? So this is completely different. What is this? I just don't want the floor to collapse underneath me as I'm walking through here. I think I'm going to equip the regular pistols too. I'd hate to burn out through that magnum ammo.
guess I ain't missing anything in here. This is ever so slightly out of reach. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Got some bars. Oh, right, right, right. Save crystal. Okay, I think we use this to get up on the upper platforms. I'm gonna check out what's in this room first. Or shall I guess not. <laughs> I'm afraid if there's like a mummy or something in there. It hasn't been that long since we saved, but still. There's just been some mild ass pains that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> I can't interact with that. Oh, this is perfect. It's a little jar. Might be worth something. You don't know that. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. The mild ass pains that these puzzles, platforming, and creatures bring. So, oh, yeah, that wasn't like that. <laughs> I think I think I took damage from that. Damn. Hmm. I think I need to get up there. So here's my thinking. We need to get up there. We got to push that over to there so I can get up on top of that thing. I think. I, I think there's something. I don't know. Oh, shoot. I definitely didn't want to do that. Oh boy, here we go with this thing again. Like I said, grid moving, except for when it isn't. <laughs> I think the goal is to get up there. But you see, there's that ceiling that's blocking me from getting on top of that, so I need to push it to the left there. If I push, if I tried to hop on it from this side, I wouldn't be able to get it all the way over there. And then at the same time, I think, I think maybe that gold bar would block me from jumping to that platform just because it's sort of in the way. I don't know. We'll see.
This calls for a long jump. There we go. <sighs> Shit. Oh, thank God I hung on to the X button. Oh, look. There's a little path here. Wow! Oh! <laughs> well, that just sucked. <sighs> Here I was, getting ready for it. Oh yeah, no load game. The biggest problem is not even the damage that most of these enemies cause. I mean, yeah, it adds up, especially if you're fighting multiples of them. But when you're on platforms like this, they just push you off. I guess that's part of the strategy, but goddamn. Okay, so I forget, I think. <laughs> well, at least I know it's coming now. Problem was I didn't even, oh, shoot, I didn't even realize it was there. So, I'll have the shotgun ready, that's for sure. I probably could have gotten it with the magnums. The, the last one I encountered, I say that lightly because it's not like I really encountered it, but the last one we encountered at the beginning of the level that was walking around the Sphinx, I mean, one, I was well away from it and it wouldn't be, I don't think it would have been able to jump up there. <clears throat> so there is that, but... On top of that, I think it's hard to tell, but I think it died relatively quickly from the magnums. So maybe I would have been okay, but it's, I think the shotgun is still the most powerful, especially given the amount of ammo that they give you for it, which is little to none. Okay. I'm just gonna push this back into place and we should be good to go. Uh, well, I don't know. I was gonna say, I wonder if I could just hop off. But then, we saw what happened when it pushed me. I didn't even land in the water. I wish I landed in the water, but... Stone Path was right underneath me. Okay, so let me get this out to start. I'm running a little low on that. Son of a bitch. Oh man, that almost killed me. I had a little bit more health that time. It's just a little too wild coming out of there. I don't like, I don't like their moaning. Well, if I'm, I'm, I don't even want to chance it by going back up there again. So I'm going to try and shoot it with the regular pistols. If it's. Is it even coming back up here? I 
thought the gorillas were bad with the pushing and whatnot, but these these are like faster gorillas. They do more damage. They cover the space a little more. I think I got it there. I'm pretty sure, did I get like two slugs in there? I feel like I got, I hit it twice with the shotgun. Which, you know, most stuff usually dies, I think with just one hit. Right, there's a key. Oh, okay, so now we get up on that brick. I think I'm going to do a long jump with this one. Oh god, I hope nothing awful's up here. Oh. oh. That was a loud thud. So where is oh okay. I didn't even see this when we were in this room before. Oh boy. <laughs> That'd be tricky getting back down. Oh man, I can't see that. Is that the textures are a little weird? I'm hoping I can grab onto this. Okay, cool. Or land on it without dying. I think that's the crocodile sound, but I don't see it. should do it. Well, we open up this thing, so I'm assuming we go down here. This looks a little risky, though. Okay, I think that's a that's a platform I could drop onto. If I drop anywhere else, though, I'm probably gonna die.
Okay, so I think there's two paths. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, no, wait, wait a, sec, wait a sec. So what is this? Oh, that's not fair. Fuck that. Oh, man. Yeah, the last save point was right before the mummy, I think. That is that was a bullshit trap. That was like Doom 2 levels of unfair. Even worse. Just immediate death? Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. I remember stuff like that happening in Tomb Raider 3. Of course, in Tomb Raider 3, there's the slight advantage that you can use the save crystals wherever you want. You just collect them. So, you know, if you think you're going to run into some bullshit, I mean, but it's hard to tell. It is so hard to tell sometimes. Jump on here instead, not lose that little amount of health. So we gotta push all this crap back into place. Awful. Awful. It's it's terrible that they don't even give you a save point. Like once you make your way back to that room. I could do the mummy a little bit better, though. Like, if I could get into that room, I think we'd be better off, but I don't know. Actually, I could probably drop down there without there being much issue. Oh yeah, keep firing like that. Hit the switch. Oh, yes. Incredibly loud doors dropping. There wasn't a save crystal I'd missed up here, was there? I guess not. It just seems unfathomable that they'd have a death trap and not have a save point before that.
Hmm, there's something over that way too. I don't know what that is just by looking at it though. Actually, there's a different type of ammo, I think. Yeah, the Uzi clips. That might be what it is, but I don't think I want to go try and grab it. Jump down like this? I think so. <laughs> Tempted to just go back and see if there was a save crystal that popped up anywhere, but I guess I'm not seeing anything. Well, we could take a look in that other room. Obviously, the, well, there's only one place to go, I guess, if one's a death trap. <laughs> you never know, though. The other one might end up being pretty bad, too. Okay, so definitely don't want to go down that way. A safe crystal. Just out of sight. Oh, down there. Man, it's dark down there. Okay, let's say before anything, just because I want to do all that again. See what this does. Oh, okay. Drop the doorway and lit things up. I think the panthers are stronger than the lions. I feel like a, if it was a lion, I would have taken it out already. First one I killed seemed to go pretty quick, but I was using the magnums. <laughs> now they're just scurrying around the pillar. Should I even go down there? I think I can make that jump. Uh, it's going to be tight. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, no. Can't make it. Ooh, there's... Oh, my God. There's four of them. Oh, oh. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. When you got four of them on you like that, your health goes awful quick. I guess the other two were hiding in the corner there? I don't know. That's eh, alright. At least we had the save crystal close by. Oh, right. I remember seeing that platform. Okay. Well, let me not mess around with these guys then. With the magnums, it takes a little while. Okay, so that's the two. Does that lead off anywhere else? Is that look through here? No, okay. <laughs> I'm 
nervous about doing it. So I'm gonna see if there's anywhere else that I could go. Oh, hey. Right, we'll get some more magnum ammo at least. What about that room? <laughs> now I'm just worried about what kind of bullshit they're going to throw at me because it's like if they're just going to start dropping floors into pits, all bets are off now. They could do that at any point. the room below. Okay. Let's set that off. Oops. All right, let me not run off. It's probably not going to take too much to just top down there and kill it, actually. I, be, I did pump in quite a bit. Look, there's some slugs over there. I was going to say, I might not be, I didn't make the jump from the other side, but from the other side, it's lower, so. The fact that we were a little higher up means I was able to make it. Yeah, they certainly treat the slugs in high regard. Hmm, okay. I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> Actually, I would have had to drop down anyway, because I wouldn't be able to jump back from the other side. So, maybe a health kit and slugs. I guess. Look at that hieroglyphic looks like a <laughs> looks like a smiley face. I don't remember that one. Ooh shit, that thing. <laughs> what is this going to be? Can I make that? Oh, yeah, I can. Way up there. We saw this like a while back. Oh, 
Okay. So across the other side. Let's hope that these don't fall when I jump on them. Something happened. I can't see that very well. Oh, you know what? That giant pile of sand. There was that room right underneath it that had nothing in there. They probably released all that. Okay. Should be this room, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, look at that. It's all down there now. Seeing if there's anything I need from this room, but I don't think so. Sapphire key, right, right, right. Oh, end of the level. Okay. Huh. Well, our first venture into Egypt has been an interesting one. Definitely gets a little stressful. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen in here. Given the option, I'd rather travel on the high ground. Oh, we needed to come up here anyway. Is there anything over there? Guess not. Keyhole, door, Ooh. 
All right. Small health kit. Didn't look like there was anything on the other side, so I'm guessing these are connected. Um, all right, I'm just going to say there's nothing down there. That was a drop. This one is water. I'll look at the water one first. Whoa, jeez. He's coming in, I'm going out. Look at that. No, 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 no. I didn't say to go that far. he doesn't stay there for very long. This is the biggest pool on the... Oh, God damn it. Whoops. Wow. Put me in a real bad spot. God damn it. It's like the biggest pool of water he doesn't want to go into. It's like the, it's the easiest one I could shoot him from. Come on, target him. Oh, right. <sighs> Head's clipping through the ground here. back out. Okay. Let's just go ahead and overwrite that. I feel like if I'm heading back into the other room, I could probably just swim past him. Or at least I hope so. Okay, but that we've been going for a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. We'll come back to this next week. Uh, next beginning next week. Let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to do indie or do we want to do four swords? I might say four swords adventures for the end of the week, but uh, or not the end of the week, the middle of the week, and then maybe we'll switch off between Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine and the original Tomb Raider. Uh, first couple days, then we'll hit up four swords and we'll do this again a little bit later. But uh, it's been fun so. Always into it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it as always. I'm going to take off for the night and we'll catch you later. So until then, take care. <laughs>